Hello everyone, this is the section one of actually setting up the DX story. Uh, so you can actually use it with XSplit. Uh, yeah, this is my first time ever doing some kind of video guide, so do not mind my English, do not mind me if I yeah, get something screwed a little bit. So after you install DX story, you just get inside of it, you will get something like this. Do not do not mind this profile because it's automatically generated whenever you join a game. So leave this one. Uh, do not, uh, yeah, do not even touch it. Uh, what you need to do uh, before everything, you need to set up a folder because whenever at the beginning I clicked uh, to start recording, it was asking for a folder. You're gonna ask, uh, yeah, it's gonna ask you just set up a folder. Doesn't matter which one it is and leave it just like that. Here you have the hotkeys on this. Um, this is the hotkey to start and stop the movie capture. Pretty much this is the one that you need and nothing else uh, beside this one. This is the only hotkey that you're gonna be needing actually for streaming uh, on DX Story. Once you go to the movie, um, this panel will actually show up. You don't want to touch anything out of here because um, yeah, out of these settings because you don't really need them. Uh, what you need and the most important stuff is actually this one, direct show output. If you if you have this one actually unchecked, uh, your XSplit won't be able to actually find the camera out of here. I'm gonna talk later on another video uh, for the XSplit, but uh, for now keep this one clicked on and out click, do not click this one follow up because this is like local recording uh, that is if you want to actually stream and record at the same time you, you can, um, I don't wanna, uh, yeah I don't have any plans on uh, uh, making a guide of local recording plus streaming because you can actually uh, record at another uh, resolution while you're streaming with uh, totally another resolution. Not sure how that one works because my hard drive is very bad making my game lag so I'm not even using it. Alright so from this panel over here on this video thingy you need only to have direct show output. As well you can set the size on yours and pretty much that's it. You go at the sound, I have it, uh, I think this is default but I'm not really sure. But yeah you can see this, uh, you can remember those and pretty much that's it. Devices, I have the speakers. Uh, one more thing that you need to know actually is over here. If, you, if this one is checked by any chances just do uncheck it because whenever you're gonna get in a game uh, I mean whenever you get in StarCraft uh, you will have a limited 60 FPS which you're gonna be you will feel the you will feel it so just uncheck this one you don't need it about these processing threads uh, maybe it's better uh, to set it on 4 but I'm really not sure because I don't have any problem on 1 and I don't even want to touch it so it's uh, quite actually fine for me. The last thing that you really need is this box, actually the fourth box, yellow thingy, video settings. Whenever you click this one, these are the outputs actually, the ones that will be going to um, XSplit. So, uh, first output, you set it as your resolution of the monitor. Uh, basically, if you don't have it, if you don't have the resolution out of here, you can write it down here on the width and height and it will automatically show up. Uh, adjust mode, I have it on stretch, and frame rate, I have 30. So, uh, this whole output will be going to XSplit. Uh, do not mind these settings because actually this is very high for streaming, but XSplit afterwards will just uh, uh, code, uh, encode or decode, I don't know what's the name of it, uh, will make them by just as how you want. Uh, if you want, for an example, uh, 25, it will make it 25. Doesn't matter if the output is uh, actually. Uh, 30 at all. So pretty much that's everything you need to know about uh, the X story before you can actually start. Once you get in the game you need to press F12 because yeah this is the F12 uh, to start or either stop the movie capture. Uh, I will show you very fast right now. So this is it alright. Uh, you have on XSplit DX Story video, doesn't show anything actually at the moment, but if you click 
F12, you will see here, it's actually green, but when you click F12, uh, it will become orange, and there you go, this is the screen. So, pretty much you're all settled up. So, thank you for watching, and uh, just wake me up to um, go for another video that will be explaining about the X-Split, actually, uh, how to make the X-Split uh, all together working with the DX story. Take care till